Hello everyone, welcome to Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. I stopped at my local Dollar Tree again. I cannot seem to stay away because look at all the Halloween goodies that they are giving us. These are metal tree toppers. Can you believe? This is absolutely gorgeous. I love the details on them. We have the crow, the bat, and the witch. And then these are the only three that I picked up. I only picked up one of the witch and one of the bat. And I want to save these as tree toppers. I also bought six of the crows and one of them I want to use as a tree topper. And then the other ones I plan on using it in my DIY projects. And I want to use one on the tear tray also. I mean, I have great ideas for these. <laughs> I just love them. On this trip, I picked up some harvest items. Look at this. These are what, fall harvest items. I picked up this sign that says, Family makes this house a home. Look at this. You got the uh, two-story home. <laughs> and you got the... I guess this is the crop in the back with the pumpkins and um, a flower pot. I don't know. <laughs> um, this is um, quite a large sign. It looks to be like nine and a half inch on the height. And about 13 inches long. But look at this. I love the color on here. Um, yeah, this is going to be a future project. So come back and visit me for that one look what i found too i don't recall dollar tree carrying these before these are quite thick look at that it is about three fourths of an inch thick and it's made to stand up like that and they are about six and three fourths of an inch from the the top of the court all the way to the bottom but look at this it says cinnamon mule wind and then the, the cinnamon right here it's uh, another layer to it i like the details and i love the handles <laughs> look you can hold it <laughs> so it has the jute cording with the white beads on there and then this one it says pumpkin punch and then the pumpkin is raised Again, the jute cording with the natural colored beads. And then there's this one, fresh apple cider. The apple is raised on this one. And then you get the jute cording with the dark brown beads. But I mean, they gave it uh, such thought, right? They got the match the beads with the bottle. But I was thinking I went to DIY these though. I also picked up some supplies for the deco mesh wreath. I picked up this green one. It's a, a sage green with the silver metallic threading. I picked up six of these. I also picked up some ribbons while I was at it. I really like these. This is the, it's like a, a vanilla color. And then you got pumpkins in there in the color orange, blue, and green, or the sage color again. But I like this. They have some really cute uh, harvest ribbons this year. I couldn't decide. Well, I, I mean, I eventually did, but it was a hard, hard decision. <laughs> look at this. Isn't that cute? It is a um, wire edge look. I like that sagey color this year. I don't know. I'm I'm loving that color. So I went ahead and um, I picked up several of these ribbons also. So Dollar Tree has several of these uh, color your own decor. I picked this one up. This is the gnome. It's a gnome holding some pumpkins and some gourds. Let me open this. 
So this is what you get. I like this. You know, I saw this and I'm like, ooh, I want that. I like it because look at the her hat. It's got acorn on there and then he's holding pumpkins. And you got the cute leaves on the edging. Now there are several uh, different designs. So when you go visit your Dollar Tree, go take a look. And of course it comes with its own markers. If you want to use these to color it in, um, it's available to you like that. So take a look. I only picked up the one. And then I picked this up, look. Isn't he adorable? The cute squirrel. I love the detail they put into the tail. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It looks like it's been carved out of wood. Everybody is uh, falling in love with this little creature. And then I'm like, you know what? I need one too. <laughs> so I picked up a squirrel. <laughs> I think I will tuck it into like the tear tray. <laughs> so yeah, it's really cute. Adorableness. <laughs> and look at these. Acorns on a pick. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's called an acorn pick. And these acorns are uh, felt covered. I had to come to Dollar Tree to find these. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in love. <laughs> but they are so adorable. So I picked up 10 picks because I, I'm in love with these cute little things. Amazing. I love it. I hope you find them at your store also. I also picked up this pick. Let's see, this one is called a Dripping Blossom and is also part of the, the Harvest Floral. But look at that color, isn't it stunning? It's such a vibrant, a yellow to orange ombre color. It is, it's, it's a floral pick for the fall season, but I want to use this in like a one of my Halloween projects because I love that color. It kind of reminds me of a candy corn. Isn't that gorgeous? And I love it that the the floral picks is actually, you look at this, they're full picks and I mean there's you only get five stems but still. Amazing! I love it. I might get another one, you know, before they run out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a reason for me to go back to Dollar Tree again. <laughs> but how gorgeous, right? I picked up several items that are not seasonal. So I picked up these round um, boxes. I know they say happy birthday to you right now, but I want to use this in projects. I want to like, do a stack box, but I wasn't sure uh, if I wanted to do like um, these three here or if I wanted to do these three here. I was like, oh my gosh, I can find three boxes that are able to stack. Now, they didn't have another one, you know, in this size, but, you know, I plan to DIY it, so it doesn't really matter. So, the large one is, like, six inches by four inches. The next one is five one-fourth by three and three-fourths. This one is four and three fourths or well, just maybe five eighths by uh three and a half oh i forgot i always forget this end of my ruler yeah you know calculating with that so and then this one is about four and one fourth by three and a half something like that but 
um, I'm happy I found these. Rarely do I find a full set, so I took advantage. I got them all. And then I found an awashi. So I don't know if I have this one. <laughs> because, you know, when you go to Dollar Tree and you see stuff, you're like, oh, I don't think I have that one. But it is the uh, gingham in the white, pink, and red. But look at this. I like it. I also found these. These are alphabet stickers in metallic. I picked it up in the orange and in the purple. I like the fonts on these is why I picked it up. Now they do have other fonts available if you're interested. I believe there was a, a green, an aqua, and I think it was a red one. So when you go to your store, take a look. I like it. It's uh, been stamped on acetate. So that's why the metallic looks really good. I like these. And I did pick up five each. The last items I picked up on this trip are these. These are sketch pads. <laughs> I picked it up in the yellow. I picked up two. So you see, they even have a little sample in here. So sketching ideas. Isn't that cute? So I figured, you know, this is like a great size for my crafting table when I want to doodle. So not that the color really matters because the, you know, pages are similar. So I picked up two yellows. <laughs> And I picked up two blues with the wavy pattern. See, it's just nothing but white paper. I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> and then the next one is um, this one. I picked up um, this one. It says notes. So, and then this has that um, a blue page with a little pattern on the bottom. And I went to use this for journaling is why I picked it up. So on one of my previous trips, I found this one. And this is what that one looks like. And then the new one I found is this one. So uh, let me see there. Like this is more like a sky blue color maybe. And then this one's like a light blue tone to it. But I plan to use these in scrapbooking projects. So I did pick up um, three of this one here. Well, I am having fun at my Dollar Tree, as you can tell. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm, I've been waiting on some new stickers to come out. So I am quite happy that... I was able to find these alphabets. I needed some alphabets and uh, I was looking to see if they had maybe like black, but they didn't have it in, but I found these and, you know, I added it a cutie. <laughs> I like that. And of course I love my new jugs. <laughs> I plan to have fun uh, DIYing those. And I will be doing a lot of DIYs, and I picked up so many goodies to do DIYs. And then, of course, when you visit your Dollar Tree, I hope that um, you have already found these acorns, or that you know it will be arriving at your store shortly, so you can have some. Well, I hope that you find everything on your wish list the next time you stop by Dollar Tree. Thank you for stopping by. This is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas, and I will see you next time.